you get a chance to see Denver area? Yeah, we did. Azra came from Istanbul, Turkey to study at CA because she wanted to learn about the United States with her own eyes, not just through books in school. We don't really know American life. We think we do, but we don't because we only see it in movies and that's not the way it is in real life. Azra, along with a group of her fellow Turkish students, said goodbye to their families, flew across the ocean, explored a new campus, and studied side by side with CA students for two weeks. They discovered that American students do less memorization and more critical thinking than they do in their school in Turkey. It motivates students to be more creative and like more open to new ideas. The Turkish students also sampled everything that Colorado has to offer. Skiing in the Rocky Mountains, a visit to University of Colorado in Boulder, Valentine's Day, and professional sporting events. I skied for the first time. I played baseball for the first time. I went to an NBA game for the first time. Like, <laughs> it was a lot of beginnings. <laughs> I'm not the same me that I was at the beginning of this trip. I've learned a lot. For the CA students hosting the Turkish students in their homes, this was also a learning experience. As American students, we have like a reputation for being ethnocentric or like maybe even just secluded. And I think this is a good opportunity to show that American students are actually international students. You kind of learn more about yourself through these things. Everyone gets so stuck in their own bubble sometimes that they don't really pay attention to other parts of the world or even other cultures within your society. And I think it's kind of good to open your eyes to that. Perhaps the biggest surprise was that there weren't very many surprises. Even though we're so far from each other and we were raised with different backgrounds, we are so alike. In addition to hosting visitors, CA offers a variety of foreign travel opportunities and exchange programs for CA students, including trips to Scotland, Turkey, and Argentina. We honestly have no idea what kind of careers we're preparing our students for now. Most of the careers that they're going to go into probably don't even exist at the present moment. So what are the what are the attributes, what are the skills, what are the characteristics we're trying to engender and cultivate in these students? And I would say that it's adaptability, the capacity to communicate cross-cultural understanding. And I think these programs are instrumental in helping cultivate those skills and aptitudes. Katie Fink visited Argentina on a trip led by CA faculty to study and practice her Spanish. I would consider all the kids who are in the exchange pretty fluent in Spanish. But the first day we got there, it was like, oh my god, I don't speak Spanish at all. But then as the trip went along, I was actually like, oh, OK, and it got so much better. Matthew Johnson also went to Argentina, where he found much of the learning took place outside of the classroom. So I think it's one thing just to sort of be in a country with like all your friends in like a hotel or something. It's something completely different to live with a family and actually experience what they do every day. You can see things you would never be able to learn in a book. I was nervous about going abroad, but I would say 100% do it because it's really an amazing experience. So Argentina! After Katie and Matthew visited Argentina, the Argentinian students who hosted them started preparing for their visit to Colorado Academy with this advanced video they posted on YouTube. <laughs> How do you want to solve that? From a video into the classroom, Katie hosted Cacho from Buenos Aires, and the two attended class at CA side by side. Where's the part about the statues in the garden? Matthew hosted Tadeo, who got a crash course in U.S. law. The Argentinian students visited CA in winter, just in time for the Super Bowl and Winterfest. No surprise that one of their fondest memories of Colorado may be the unpredictable weather. I like the weather. You can go from really cold to really hot in like two days. Last year, uh, they told me that uh, while well, we, we measured uh, temperature in Celsius and that it was like minus 30, that is like really cold. No matter how future political winds may blow, the students from Turkey and Argentina and the CA students who offer hospitality and travel internationally will be prepared. Why? Because they have accepted the challenge of venturing into the unfamiliar and they have learned from their experiences. The world is getting smaller and smaller, and it's important to know about like, what is happening around the world because it, it affects everyone, not just that country. I believe that once you get to know people from different backgrounds, you start to understand how the world works.